video I will show you how to combine a PowerPoint presentation with your iMovie project. Uh, this way you can insert elements of your presentation within a movie that you want to create. Uh, first thing you need to do is once you've created your PowerPoint presentation, you can export that uh, to a movie format. So for this example, I'm going to do MP4. Uh, you can set your quality. I normally just use internet quality and it will ask you to set your timing on your slides. Uh, I'll set that to 10 seconds for now. So this is only for slides that hasn't uh, got any custom timings uh, programmed on them already. So if you've got one of your slides for set for 15 seconds, uh, that slide will still stay 15 seconds, but the rest will be 10 seconds. So I export that. And then at the bottom here, you will see the progress. So obviously the bigger your presentation and more complex, the longer this uh, export will take. And it basically just creates a file on your PC that you can use later. So once you've created your exported video, uh, you can go to your iMovie and then you can simply import it here or you can just drag and drop it here, uh, just any which way you prefer. So, for example, I can just drag it over here and you'll see my 40 second video is up and running. And I've also got another normal video with sound that I'm just going to drop in here and I'll show you guys something else. So, now when you go and play your video, You'll see you'll get your normal transitions that you will get uh, in PowerPoint as well as your animation. So for example, on this last slide, uh, I've used some animation for it to slide in and you will still get that uh, in your presentation. Now, um, you can obviously combine this. This part of the video got some sound on it. Um, and then this is just some footage from the actual game itself. So what you can do now is basically if you want to insert some of this footage, some of this footage uh, in your presentation, uh, you can go to the place where you want to cut your presentation, and then you use uh, Command B to split your clip. So I'll just drag over there, Command B, and it will create a split. So let's say, for example. Uh, I'm going to take this couple of seconds and insert it there so I can do a command B and a command B again. So this clip can easily be dragged in the middle of my presentation like that. And then obviously you can still add your transitions uh, between the clips. So let's say we want to do a cross dissolve. We can easily add that in there. Uh, and we want another cross dissolve over there. So now if you play your presentation, it will cross dissolve uh, into that scene. And then obviously back uh, to your presentation and so on. Now, if you want to add a voiceover to your presentation, you can obviously select just where you want to start, and you press the voiceover button here. So, once you start at that, you will get your recording button, and it will give you a three-second uh, beat just to get yourself ready. So, let's say I want to start my voice recording over here, and then I click record. So this is a quick presentation on the Battlefield 1 open beta that was in early in September and everybody had great fun playing around with the game. Uh, you'll see you've got the maps that was used was only the Sinai Desert map and it was quite fun. So once you've done that, um, you'll see your voice uh, voice over track is displayed here. And you can manipulate it the same way that you can sell, manipulate each of these uh, video elements. So you can just click on that and you can actually move it to another part of the video. And you can also crop this and or split it rather with the command B. And then the different parts you can move to different areas. So let's for, say for example, uh, I want to voice over this part where there's already sound. Um, 
I can just put that back there. I'll start over here and then I do my voice over uh, recording. Uh, I played mostly a sniper and had some pretty decent kills but still got a lot to learn about this game. So then you'll see we've got that other part here. So now obviously you don't want, if, if this video clip sound uh, gets in the way of your voice over you can easily drop the volume on that whole video clip and the video, the original sound will disappear. Uh, what you can also do is you can split this clip to match my voice over with the command B and then only drop the volume on this part. So when you play this whole video, Uh, that's quite an easy way to use a uh, PowerPoint presentation uh, within your video. Uh, another trick that I learned that is quite useful is instead of creating a whole PowerPoint presentation like I did here, you can actually set up I individual movies for each slide. So this way you can manipulate each individual slide much easier. So for example, if you found you've made a mistake on one slide, it's quite easy just to change that slide in PowerPoint and only export that particular slide instead of the whole uh, presentation. Uh, it's also much easier to change around the order if you s of your slide if you decide to do that in iMovie. So, for example, in this case I've got uh, slide 1 and I can drop it in here. Slide. slide two, slide three over there, and my fourth slide, I then, let's say for example, I want to slide it in here. And that, that way it's quite easy to, to manipulate your different slides. And obviously, once you're ready to uh, use this clip, you then just export. You just export this uh, to whichever format you want, and it's as easy as that. Thank you very much.